Hello students, in today's class, we will be studying about the equation of states of real gases as well as their critical phenomena. For an ideal gas, that means no intermolecular interactions and no molecular volume, N, the appropriate state of equation, that means the equation of state will be V. And then in the bracket you have temperature P and N is equals to N R T by P. Now what do we mean by this is when we talk about the gases, they have different kinds of interactions. And now we are talking about the equation of the gases. In the first line itself we have said that equation of the interactions and they should have no molecular volume. Now why they should not have no molecular volume? Because we are basically talking about nothing but a particular gas without considering their molecules or molecular volume. So now we have the real gas equations. Generally we write it as PV equal to NRT. This particular version just incorporates all the different things. There are many equations of the state. Again, as I said, there are many equations of the state. So the one I have written is the most commonly used in terms of mathematical equations, sums, etc. And this particular thing over here, it's just P and V taken from your NRTs over here. If I replace the P, it will go down there. So it can be like V is equals to NRT by P. Again, another equation. It is actually the same equation. I've just taken the P from here and kept it in the bottom over here. So it is the same equation, but another way of writing it. These equations take in consideration molecular volume and interactions. So over here, let us see the critical phenomena. In the critical phenomena, we have two things. Volume on the x-axis, pressure on the y-axis. And then they have shown critical points over here. Now, what are critical points? Critical points are of the gases wherein they change their behavior. Can we see that? This is the critical point. So, from here to here, the gas was moving in a particular direction properly. But as it reached a critical point, as it reached over here, it changed the direction of flow. It changed the phenomena. It changed the volume. This is known as critical phenomena. The essential condition for the liquefaction of gas is described by the study of critical temperature, critical pressure and critical volume and their relationships. So whenever we are talking about the critical phenomena, we have to take in condition the critical temperature, the critical pressure, and the critical volume and their interrelationships. Let us have a critical phenomena first. Let us look at it in detail. The essential condition for a liquefaction of the gas is described by the study of critical temperature, critical pressure, and critical volume and their interrelationships. When a gaseous system is transformed to its liquid state, there is a tremendous decrease in the volume. This decrease in the volume can be effectively brought about by lowering the temperature or by increasing the pressure or by both. So you can either lower the temperature or increase the pressure or you can do both the things to make sure that your gaseous atom turns into liquid. That means a gas is liquefied. In both these effects, the gaseous molecules come closer to each other and experience an increase in force of attraction which results in the liquefaction of gases. At any constant temperature, when pressure is increased, volume is decreased and vice versa. Always remember, volume is inversely proportional to pressure. So if my pressure increases, my volume will decrease. If the volume increases, the pressure will decrease and so on. Such PV curves at constant temperature are known as isotherms. 
A typical isotherm can be considered in the figure, we'll see in the figure, to continuous decrease in pressure for both volume for ideal gases. There is a definite deviation exhibited by the real gas from ideal gas behavior at low volumes. First, let us see the critical temperature. It is defined as the characteristic temperature of a gas at which the increase in pressure brings in liquefaction of gas, which no liquefaction occurs although the pressure may be increased to many folds. That means if I keep on increasing the pressure and even after that it is not liquefying, but with respect to temperature it is liquefying, we can use that. For example, the Tc, that means the critical temperature of carbon in carbon dioxide is 31.1. This means that it is not possible to liquefy CO2 by applying pressure when its temperature is about 31.1 degrees Celsius. Critical pressure, it is defined as the minimum pressure required to liquefy one mole of gas present at its critical temperature. Critical volume, the volume occupied by one mole of gas at its critical pressure and at critical temperature is critical volume. A gas is said to be at its critical state when its pressure, volume and temperature are Pc, Bc and Tc. So this was all about the equation of the gas. That means the equation of the real gases and the critical phenomena which occurs at the critical pressure, critical volume and critical temperature. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.